What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. Uh, we're back out here today working on this uh, DIY uh, self-watering garden system. Um, so as you'll remember last time in the first part we set up this uh, kit with these sprayers. Uh, we connected all of the, the hoses that will go and, and all the sprayers to my garden out there. Um, so watch the first part if you haven't already watched it. But what we were missing, um, I thought that this um, tote with its 250 plus gallons, the pressure would be able to push down, the gravity would pull down and create enough pressure to power the system, but it did not. Um, I was quite naive with that. Um, I've learned since then that it did not come close to producing that amount of pressure. So we need to create 50 PSI of pressure. I do not want to connect the garden hose to this system as I have now. Um, so this pump that I got from Harbor Freight will do the job. It's a 12 volt pump so it will run off my solar panel system. And uh, so you, you can see it right here. It's connected to the, uh, the spigot. And, uh, and then we will connect the, the system, disconnect the garden hose and connect it to the end there. I had to get one little adapter that you can see here because uh, we had a, two male parts so we had to get a female to female connector to be able to connect this uh, pump on and I do plan on supporting it in some way in the future to, to hold the weight but for now it should be fine. So I'm going to go ahead um, and, and as you can see uh, because it's powered by 12 volt DC it just comes with these two little alligator clips. We'll use these for now but we'll, we'll hardwire it permanently later if we can prove that this works but I, I want to just show that it works first. We'll see what it looks like, see what kind of pressure it generates, how it looks, how it sounds and then uh, later on I'll, I'll hardwire, hardwire it permanently. So I'll go ahead and connect it up and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I dragged out a deep cycle battery for this uh, test. Um, like I said, I'll hardwire it to my solar panel system later. But for this test, this should be more than enough. So we got one connected to the positive. We'll connect up the negative. I've got the valve opened up here, this little timer, which is not going to work. As we talked about last time, I'm going to need a, an automatic system, not something that I have to manually twist So for when I'm on vacation. But for now, it'll work. It'll open it up. So. We'll go ahead and open the water flow. So that's obviously coming out. And we will connect the pump. So other than being a little bit loud, it's working great. It's working, it's got just as much pressure as the, the garden hose system did. All the way to the end of the line over here. So there's, there's one run, two runs, three runs, and two little baby runs in here in these little planters. I'd have to calculate up how many gallons per hour this is. I, I really don't know at this offhand. I'd say that that's very successful. Um, the pumps it'll probably only run about 15 minutes at a time for a good little soak, so I'm not really worried about the noise. I don't think the neighbors will care. Anyway, um, that's the objective for today, was just to make sure that we could power this system. That will absolutely work. So we got that part crossed off. Next time, and this is going to take some thought and some preparation, so we may not be able to do another episode in this series for a couple weeks, but I need to put some thought into how we're going to automate this. Got some thoughts about some Arduino, um, you know, soil uh, wetness sensors. Um, and stuff like that to, to automate this, to, to bring the system on, not on a set time schedule, but on a, an automatic, you know, how much water, how much sun are we seeing, um, kind of a, a, a basis. So, 
stay tuned for that. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.